Thermal Energy Transfer. Many people put cream or milk into their coffee to change the taste and cool it down. Although the overall temperature of the coffee drops, it is not from the creamer cooling it down. Let's take a look at what's happening to the particles of the coffee when we add the creamer. As we look at the particles in the hot coffee compared to the cold creamer, we can see that although they are both in a liquid state, the coffee particles are moving faster than the creamer particles. The faster coffee particles will collide into the slower creamer particles. This will increase the kinetic energy of the creamer particles and decrease the kinetic energy of the coffee particles. The creamer will become warmer and the coffee cooler due to the change in their kinetic energy. Thermal energy always transfers from hot to cold. Your kitchen is the perfect place to watch thermal energy transfer in action. There are three ways thermal energy can transfer, conduction, convection, and radiation. Let's start the stove where we are boiling some water. Here, the thermal energy of the electric stove top is being transferred to the pot through a process called conduction. In conduction, the thermal energy from the substance with the greater kinetic energy is transferred to the other substance through the collision of the particles. As the particles from the stove top collide with the pot's particles, they transfer their energy. This increases the kinetic energy of the pot's particles and the pot becomes hotter. The pot's particles will then transfer their energy to the water particles inside the pot, increasing those particles' kinetic energy. Inside the pot, the thermal energy is transferred through a process called convection. In convection, the thermal energy is transferred by the movement of the particles from one area of the material to another, in this case, from one section of the liquid to another. The particles with the greater kinetic energy will rise to the top, and the particles with the less kinetic energy will sink to the bottom. At the top, they will lose some of their kinetic energy to the air above, and at the bottom, they will gain kinetic energy from the transferring of the kinetic energy from the pot's particles. The process continues in a cycle. If the stove was a gas stove and not an electric one, the thermal energy transfer would also occur through a process called radiation. The fire would radiate heat energy through electromagnetic waves. Radiation is the only way of transferring that does not require matter. The energy from the electromagnetic waves hits the pot and transfers its energy to the pot's particles, which increase their kinetic energy. Thermal energy transfer Conduction, transfer between materials, solid, liquid, and gas. Convection, transfer within the same material, liquids and gas only. Radiation, transfer by electromagnetic waves, doesn't need matter. Radiation, convection, conduction. Thermal energy always transfers from hot to cold. Thank you for watching another Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications for more Adventures in iSTEM and Beyond videos. For more ideas on how to incorporate science, technology, and skills for life into your classroom, go to adventuresinistem.com.